Hello and welcome back to Utah Trikes. I'm Davey and here at Utah Trikes we've had a lot of cat trikes heading out our door. A lot of these cat trikes have been featured with the ECAT motor upgrade. As I've been working with these trikes, I wanted to know how these motorized trikes compare to the stock models of cat trikes and what differences they make. So today, we'll be taking a look at the ECAT motor upgrade and what sets it apart from the stock Dumont. Later, I'm going to be taking one of our ECAT Dumonts out for a spin to see how this motorized trike holds up on a long distance ride. After that, I'll be touching on a brand new upgrade that is making your ECAT even better. So, let's get right into it. The Cat Trike Dumont is our most popular Cat Trike option. Being lightweight, entirely foldable, and full suspension, this trike has it all. Not to mention at a significantly lower price than a lot of trikes with the same features. The Dumont takes the amazing engineering and design of your average Cat Trike, but with all the deluxe features. The suspension is on the rear and the front, ensuring your ride is smooth and comfortable. In the rear, there is the RockShock air suspension system that takes all those road bumps like a champ, while also being adjustable so you get the right amount of suspension for your ride. In the front, on each of the wheels, there is the Cat Trike Selasto rubber elastomer that helps absorb smaller bumps and reduce vibration fatigue. Along with suspension, it's also tricked out with folding capability. With a high quality hinge at the center of the frame, it is a durable mechanism that is also quick and easy to fold up entirely. This makes transporting or storing your Cat Trike Dumont super simple and compact. Once folded, there are small rolling wheels and a kickstand, making this folding addition all the more convenient. Ever since 2019, people have been head over heels for this trike and it's easy to see why. If you're interested in a more in-depth look at this trike and its stock configuration, check out our Dumont video. There will be a link in the description of this video and at the top right of the screen. It may seem impossible for this great trike to get any better, right? Well, you may be surprised that it can. If you didn't know, available for all cat trikes is the E-Cat motor upgrade. Unlike the Bafang motors, this is the pedal assist only motor upgrade, letting you keep the authentic feel of trike riding with powerful torque sensor pedal assist. The E-Cat upgrade is a cat trike provided option and it includes the 250 watt Bosch Active Line Plus, a pedal assist motor that has a top speed of 20 miles per hour utilizing a torque sensor assist and a 36 volt battery. The torque on this motor is around 50 newton meters. It provides a varying level of power depending on what mode you put it in. The Active Line Plus comes with four pedal assist modes. The lowest assist mode is Eco, which is the most battery efficient and supplies you with 40% assist. And the highest is Turbo, giving you 270% assist. These modes are great for freshening up your ride or helping you tackle these steep inclines. When you get a motor upgrade like this, it also comes with a few other additions to the stock Dumont. The biggest addition is the 11-speed cassette that is added to the rear. The Dumont and other cat trikes, besides the Max, all come with 10-speed gearing in the rear. So not only does this upgrade give you a pedal assist motor, but it also increases your rear gear range, allowing you to hit higher speeds and have a wider pedaling range. One drawback is the weight it adds to the trike. One of cat trikes' best features is its lightweight frame. Once you put a motor on there, it gets a lot heavier and harder to fold. But that comes with a much appreciated boost and speed increase that makes up for this added weight. Now, just talking about the physical attributes of the ECAT upgrade is great and all, but I wanna take this thing out for a ride and actually get a feel for it and how it changes the Dumont riding experience. I don't consider myself a cyclist or anything, and I just like to ride trikes casually. Despite that, I decided to tackle a 25 mile ride around West Mountain near Springville, so I could give you a personal review of this ECAD Dumont. I've got my Dumont ready, so let's head out, and I'll meet you guys at the start of the ride. Hey everybody, it's me Davey from Utah Trikes. I'm out here, Lincoln Beach, all right, you may recognize this place back from our old ECAT video. Kate took a ride here, and this was her destination. But today, I'm going from this destination around West Mountain. Today, we've got a Dumont ECAT, okay? And this is a little different than our regular Dumont because it's got the, our ECAT motor system on it, which has the Bosch Active Line Plus, which is a great pedal assist motor that's got its torque sensor in there, which makes pedaling just really natural and awesome. We're going to test it out today and see how this pedal assist motor uh, changes the Dumont feel and just how its riding experience goes. So here's the trike today. We've got all our stuff. Got my camera on it. Okay. It's the stock Dumont besides the little accessories I've got, like our saddlebags on the side here. Got a little light on the back um, and a water cage. But this is the stock ECAT Dumont. And... 
yeah, we're gonna take it around this mountain here. Uh, you can't really see it, we're on the side. We start at the side and we're gonna come all the way back. So, let's get running, guys. All right, everybody. Let's go. Just those mirrors. Turn that motor on. Get some tour mode, baby. All right. Man, I'm going freaking 20 miles an hour effortlessly. Like, I am like hardly pedaling. I, I feel so natural. I honestly forget that I've got a motor on here. We'll see what. <laughs> Granted, I am two minutes into this ride, so we'll see how it goes, but. It's a little, a little too easy. This is just kind of, I could use more like some higher gear ranges to get me going even faster. Like I say here in the video, at points it was a little too easy, especially at the beginning. I was in the second highest amount of assistance in tour mode. Sometimes I felt like I was in too low of a gear when I was really as high as it goes. This wasn't too big of a problem for me because I was out for a leisurely ride more than an exercising ride where I'm trying to push myself. And honestly for me, just a wider gear range would have been more preferable. Depending on what type of riding you're doing, this could be a great thing or a not so great thing. If you're into more leisurely rides and just want to get your exercise while still having a nice and easy time, the motor does an amazing job. The next thing I noticed was how well the front suspension and grips did at absorbing the vibrations from the road. Loving the grip. I'm, I'm not getting hand fatigue yet. I have only been going for like 20 minutes. The road being a back road behind a mountain wasn't the smoothest, so there was a lot of road vibrations to be had but that never ended up being a problem for me because with the front suspensions and the grips combined, it mitigated the vibrations to the handlebars. Throughout my whole three hour long ride around this mountain, I didn't get any vibration fatigue. The different speed options were great too. Whenever I came across steeper terrain, switching out of tour mode and into sport or turbo made these climbs a lot easier. We're on sport mode. Give me extra power for this big hill. They also came in handy because the farther into my ride I got, the more tired my legs became. Being able to switch into the higher assisted modes made it easier to keep my speed and alleviate the stress on my legs. Later in my ride, I came across washboard roads as they were preparing to repave them. This resulted in a very bumpy and vibration heavy ride for about 20 to 30 minutes. The rear suspension was putting in the work during this portion of my ride and I could really tell. I could still feel the vibrations in comparison to on smooth road, but it wasn't nearly as bad as it would have been without suspension. And the front suspension did an amazing job at softening the handle vibrations, even in such a rough and bumpy situation. Once I reached the end of my ride, I only ended up using half the battery life on my three hour ride. This is with me on tour mode for about half the ride and then sport mode for about a quarter and then turbo for the last 30 to 20 minutes. Another thing to note is that loading this in and out of the car was a bit of a hassle with the motor. It adds a lot of weight to the otherwise light Dumont frame, especially with all that weight being at the top while it's folded. It's hard to keep it balanced. But compared to other trikes and especially when they're equipped with a motor, it is still a lot lighter and one of the easiest motorized trikes to maneuver in and out of a vehicle. Overall, I had an amazing time riding this trike without being an experienced cyclist or tricyclist. Taking this thing out for such a long spin was a breeze. If you're looking for a trike that can go the distance while keeping the ride fun the whole way, this is definitely the way to go. Consider the ECAT Dumont Davy approved. If that review of the ECAT left you yearning for even more speed and power, you're in luck. Because as of this year, we have partnered with Bosch to equip the ECAT upgrade with the Bosch Performance Line Sport motor. This is a class three motor by Bosch with a higher torque and speed than the Bosch Active Line Plus. This new motor upgrade can only be done here at Utah Trikes. We won't have any installation kits like the average ECAT, so this will only be available on new cat trike orders or trikes that are sent in for upgrades. This new motor retrofit is a great addition for you speed demons out there. If the 20 mile per hour limit of the Active Line Plus or the Bafang motor wasn't enough for you, you're in luck because this motor has a top speed of 28 miles per hour. 
With this speed increase though, there is also a change in the class of motor. The Performance Line Sport is the first Class 3 motor that we've had available, and the laws and restrictions for this type of motor are a little different than the other types of motors that we carry. The e-bike motor class system, for those of you not in the know, is the classification system for electronic motorized bikes and trikes. The classes that apply to pedal assist motors are classes 1 and 3, but motors with throttles fall under class 2. The Bosch ActiveLine Plus is a class 1 motor. That means that it has a lower speed and requires a pedaling action to move without a throttle. And the top speed is capped at 20 miles per hour. They go a bit slower, but they're allowed on all lanes and paths where regular bikes are allowed. This makes it a great and versatile motor you can take anywhere you could on a normal bike. And then similar to class 1 motors are the class 2 motors. These motor types both have a top speed of 20 miles per hour and feature pedal assist. But unique to class 2 is the inclusion of a throttle. These types of motors are mostly allowed where all class 1 trikes can go, with a few exceptions like some trailheads that don't accept class 2 vehicles because the throttle activation can damage natural trails. A class 3 motor, like the Performance Line Sport, is similar to a class 1, but the main difference is that the max speed goes all the way up to 28 miles per hour instead of 20. This does come with more restrictions though. These types of trikes and bikes are only allowed to ride on road bike lanes to prevent any dangerous pedestrian collisions. In some US states and other countries, these vehicles may require a license to operate. So before buying any trike with a motor, make sure to look up your area's local laws about these types of vehicles to learn the restrictions that may be in place. Along with speed, the Performance Line Sport also has a higher torque than the Active Line Plus. The Performance Line features 65 newton meters of torque compared to the Active Line's 50 newton meters. The higher torque allows for more assist while tackling hills and other uneven terrain. And they both even have a torque sensor that measures the amount of force put on the pedals, providing a much more natural feeling pedal assist that matches the amount of power that you give it. Even with all of that extra power, the Performance Line Sport is still a 250 watt motor, just like the Active Line Plus, packing a big punch but not power hungry like some of the higher wattage motors. That doesn't mean the Active Line Plus isn't worth getting anymore though, it is still a great motor with a natural feeling assist up to 20 miles per hour keeping your trike in the class 1 bracket and allowing you to take your trike anywhere a normal bike could. But this isn't the case for the Performance Line Sport, with its speed regulated to roads only. If you're interested in purchasing one of these motors for your trike, just know they are only available on CatTrike models for now. As you may know, the Active Line Plus in the past has only been available in the eCat package, but now we are able to upgrade it to this Performance Line Sport. This won't be the only trike getting the Bosch treatment for too long though. Soon we are going to offer a full retrofit kit for the ICE and HP brands of trikes. As you may know, HP and ICE only offer the Shimano systems, but soon we will be able to ship out and install retrofit kits made for Bosch motors. Sorry ECAT owners, we will only be offering the Performance Line Sport as an upgrade when ordering a factory ECAT, and will not be including them in the do-it-yourself e-kit package. But there will be a separate DIY retrofit kit for the ICE and HP trikes. The ECAT upgrade has a ton of options for you to spice up your ride, especially with the upgraded performance of the Dumont and with the new Bosch Performance Line Sport motor, the possibilities just got a whole lot faster. Thank you all for watching and I hope this helped give you some new insight on the ECAT and its riding capabilities. If you liked this style of riding review and info video, let us know in the comments below. And also let us know what trikes you would like to see next. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the little bell if you want to stay notified of new uploads to the channel. And remember to relax, spin fast, and ride trikes. We'll see you guys next time. No, I did. It was 25 miles. You weren't even there. <laughs> 20 miles. I keep adding fives. I don't know why. Me, <laughs> 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 leave that. <laughs> Motor. Dang it. Giraffes. Oh, shucks, it didn't even move on time. Zoinks. Oh, my gravel. Slowing down, slowing down. Okay, everybody, we gotta take this one slow. One more time, I kinda muddle a word. Drats, drats, drats in my pants. That doesn't rhyme. Dang it. It's Ah, oh, shucks. Ah, oh, darn.
Okay. We're, we're being safe out here, y'all. Besides wearing a helmet. Because I don't you're like, uh. As Kate said, you're all gonna be like, uh, oh, Kate, you wear a helmet. I'm not going to. That's a wrap. Yes. I haven't done that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like three videos.